164. Now are we one with him who is our source. What time but now can truth be recognized? The present is the only time there is. And so today, this instant, now, we come to look upon what is forever there, not in our sight but in the eyes of Christ. He looks past time and sees eternity as represented there. He hears the sounds the senseless, busy world engenders, yet he hears them faintly, for beyond them all he hears the song of heaven and the voice of God more clear, more meaningful, more near. The world fades easily away before his sight. Its sounds grow dim. A melody from far beyond the world increasingly is more and more distinct. An ancient call to which he gives an ancient answer. You will recognize them both, for they are but your answer to your father's call to you. Christ answers for you, echoing yourself, using your voice to give his glad consent, accepting your deliverance for you. How holy is your practicing today as he gives you his sight and hears for you and answers in your name the call he hears. How quiet is the time you give to spend with him beyond the world. How easily are all your seeming sins forgot and all your sorrows unremembered. On this day is grief laid by, for sights and sounds which come from nearer than the world are clear to you, who will today accept the gifts he gives. There is a silence into which the world cannot intrude. There is an ancient peace you carry in your heart and have not lost. There is a sense of holiness in you the thought of sin has never touched. All this today you will remember. Faithfulness in practicing today will bring rewards so great and so completely different from all things you sought before that you will know that here your treasure is and here your rest. This is the day when vain imaginings part like a curtain to reveal what lies beyond them. Now is what is really there made visible, while all the shadows which appeared to hide it merely sink away. Now is the balance righted, and the scales of judgment left to him who judges true. And in his judgment will a world unfold in perfect innocence before your eyes. Now will you see it with the eyes of Christ. Now is its transformation clear to you. Brothers, this day is sacred to the world. Your vision, given you from far beyond all things within the world, looks back on them in a new light. And what you see becomes the healing and salvation of the world. 
the valuable and valueless are both perceived and recognized for what they are. And what is worthy of your love receives your love, while nothing to be feared remains. We will not judge today. We will receive but what is given us from judgment made beyond the world. Our practicing today becomes our gift of thankfulness for our release from blindness and from misery. All that we see will but increase our joy, because its holiness reflects our own. We stand forgiven in the sight of Christ with all the world forgiven in our own. We bless the world as we behold it in the light in which our Savior looks on us and offer it the freedom given us through his forgiving vision, now our own. Open the curtain in your practicing by merely letting go all things you think you want. Your trifling treasures put away and leave a clean and open space within your mind where Christ can come and offer you the treasure of salvation. He has need of your most holy mind to save the world. Is not this purpose worthy to be yours? Is not Christ's vision worthy to be sought above the world's unsatisfying goals? Let not today slip by without the gifts it holds for you, receiving your consent and your acceptance. We can change the world if you acknowledge them. You may not see the value your acceptance gives the world. But this you surely want. You can exchange all suffering for joy this very day. Practice in earnest and the gift is yours. Would God deceive you? Can his promise fail? Can you withhold so little when his hand holds out complete salvation to his son? <laughs>